Good day, dear colleagues. My name is Yelena Kozlova. Today I will present you my talk on the thin simulation of plasmons on metal nanorim. First part of my talk is devoted to the review of the current state in the investigation of surface plasmon plutons. After that, I will continue with theoretical research of the formation of plasmons on the surface of nanorim. <clears throat> First of all, I want to discuss the relevance of our investigation. A large number of works devoted to the modeling of nanoantennas based on surface plasmon pluriton excitation effect, like in one. A fabric rod model was formulated that predicts both the peak position and spectral shape of the optical resonances for short-range surface plasmon pluritons. The authors used full field simulation based on the FDTD method to calculate the parameters for this model. Whereas, some other authors used rectangular gold and silver nanostrips embedded in glass or water. The effect of surface plasmon pluriton resonance is analyzed using a surface integral equation method. They showed the feasibility of at least 10-fold field magnitude enhancement for the local field in narrow gap between two metal strips. Plasmons, due to their special properties, have a large number of different applications in various fields of science, physics, chemistry, biology, material science, and so on. Optical components based on plasmon effects are considered an ideal choice for the manufacture of nano-integral uh, integrated optical circuits. The use of surface plasmon polaritons allows the use of a subwave optics in microscopy and lithography beyond the diffraction limit. As can be seen from the above review, surface plasmon pluritons have a large number of different applications. In one of our paper using FDTD method, we investigated sharp focusing of the laser light by using binary amplitude Fresnel zone plates with the relief fabricated in the thin metal films of 20-30 nanometer thickness. On relief, we found to face plasmon pluritons. So in next papers, we decided to investigate them in more detail. Uh, in this study, it was shown that the formation of a resonant plasmon is possible on the surface of nanostrip or nanorim. To do this, the appropriate strip width should be chosen. However, in this case, the maximum intensity is formed at the edges and the peaks are very close to each other. Using such fields, for example, in order to capture and manipulate particles can be problematic. At the same time, a central plasmon polariton can also be formed uh, whose peak is located in the central part of the nanostrip or nanorim. Despite the fact that intensity of the central plasmon is much lower than the intensity of the resonant plasmon, we use uh, uh, the use of a single one seems more convenient. It should be noticed that the presence of the substrate uh, substantially disrupts the formation of the surface plasmon. To compensate this effect, water was chosen as a main medium instead of air. The simulation was carried out using the frequency-dependent FDTD method implemented in the full wave. In this research, we continue our investigation. As in a previous study, we used FDTD method, which takes into account frequency dispersion. So we need to use special permittivity models for the materials which were, are proposed in our investigation. Silica glass was considered as a material of a substrate. So table one showed parameters for the Silmiris permittivity model of silica glass. Silver was considered as a material of nanostrip, so the table two shows parameters for the Drude Lawrence permittivity model of silver. To determine to the appropriate width of the nano ring, we studied the effect of the formation of central and resonant plasmons on a thin silver strip placed in air. Thickness of the metal film is uh, 20 nanometers. During the simulation, the strip width was changed with a step of 10 nanometers in order to obtain a dependence of the intensity of the formed plasmon on the nanostrip. Temple result light with a wavelength of 633 nanometers was considered as the initial radiation. Analyzing the data in figure 5, it can be noted that at some points the curves of the maximum plasmon intensity and intensity in the center of the nanostrip coincide. 
At least the width of the nanostrip above from central plasmon periton with minimal side lobes is expected. At other points, the boundary plasmons are more intense and reach a maximum at the resonance width of the nanostrip. Based on the obtained data for the further research, we select the following values of the width of the nano ring 220 and 260 nanometers. Next, we consider the propagation of laser radiation with a wavelength of 633 nanometers, which normally incident on a silver nano ring on a silica glass substrate located in water. What is chosen for media to decrease the influence of the substrate as it was shown in our previous papers. To satisfy the condition for the excitation of plasmon waves, we choose radial polarization. The scheme of the numerical experiment is shown in figure uh, six. The light is shown by red arrows of propagate um, and propagates along the z-axis. The following simulation parameters were used. Spatial steps are 8 nanometers, pseudo time step is 2 nanometers. As we can see on figure 7, a central plasmon pluriton is formed on the nano ring. The maximum plasmon intensity on the surface of a ring with a width of 260 nanometers was 1.87 arbitrary units. And at the same time, it is higher than the maximum plasmon intensity on the surface of a narrow ring, which amounted to be 1.34 uh, arbitrary units. Distribution along the X presented on figure uh, 8. The full width of, at half maximum of intensity of the plasmons is equal to 100. 68.4 nanometers for the wide ring and equal to 186.8 nanometers for the narrow one. From the simulation results, it can be seen that the nano ring owes the formation of a narrow plasmon pluriton on its surface. Moreover, the using uh, the wider uh, ring, nano ring can produce uh, the narrow and more intense uh, plasmon pluriton. The main results of our research are presented on the slide. Using the FDTD method, we studied the formation of surface plasmons on the surface of nano strips and nano rings. It is shown that 260 nanometers wide nano ring, illuminated by a light beam with a wavelength of 633 and with radial polarization, forms a surface plasmon pluriton with full width at half maximum of intensity equal to 0.25 of wavelength. It is less than the width of the similar plasmon formed by a beam with a wavelength of 532 nanometers in terms of wavelength. Thank you for your attention.